Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Garu and welcome back to this new video for Season 8 and today we are going to talk about something interesting that a lot of you guys want out there. So as soon as we get the Battle Pass, we get two free skins which are basically the Hybrid and the Blackheart. But today I'm going to focus on the Blackheart skin because that skin is one of the best skins that we have inside the Battle Pass. I mean, on your first look, you might be like, okay, this skin is pretty fun. I mean, he does look a pirate, but he has upgradable styles which can be unlocked by gaining a lot of XP. So in this video, I will be telling you guys how you guys can unlock a ton of XP really fast. And if you guys think this is the one of the best skins out there, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Because today, I'll be telling you guys on how you guys can level up really fast and unlock the skin in just 3-4 weeks. And also, if you guys are new over here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Because with this, I will be making more videos about Season 8 on how you guys can get easy wins and how you guys can level up even fast as we progress throughout the season. So if you don't want to miss out on the videos, join the notification squad. And also, a quick shout out to each and every one of you guys. Was using my supporter creator code. If you want to support me as a supporter creator, go ahead in the Fortnite item shop and put down the code Real Life Garu. Each and every one of you guys who has been supporting me, your support has been amazing. And also, if you do use my code, feel free to tweet me at Garu Gaming, and I'd love to you know, give you a shout out on my daily video. So each and every one of you guys who showed up on the screen right now, a very massive thanks to you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video and see what styles that we can unlock and what are the rewards gonna be. So the stage one is actually gonna be this one right over here that I am showing you guys on the screen right now. It's a pretty cool part skin. But if you guys look at the stage 2, he has actually grown some beard and everything. And we can actually unlock this in 10,000 XP. He actually has a longer beard and he actually looks kind of sick right now, okay? Then that is going to be the stage 3. But the next stage is the most important stage that you guys actually want to see. Which is going to be the Blackheart stage 4. But I'm going to give you guys some easy tips and tricks on how you guys can actually go ahead and unlock the final stage for this skin as well. Now the next thing that we can unlock for free is going to be... The Swag Smasher, which is going to be another pickaxe, which is linked up with the set. So as soon as you get 120k XP, you guys can actually unlock this free pickaxe for yourself. And it's a pretty cool pickaxe, to be honest. I mean, we can see the Octopus. He has a sword on his hand. And he's keeping the chest secure with him. But moving over to the next stage, which is going to be the Black Hot Stage 5, which is a pretty cool stage. And I think a lot of you guys actually want to go ahead and unlock this skin. Now coming in for the Stage 6, it's going to be the blue version for the Black Hot skin. And let me know in the comment section down below which color do you guys like the most because the next color that we can unlock is going to be the purple one which is going to be the Blackheart Stage 7 which is a pretty cool skin and I'm pretty sure that I will be using the skin myself. Now moving over to the next skin is going to be the Golden Blackheart Stage 8. So these are the four colors inside the hologram of his chest that we can actually go ahead and unlock. But there's also like a few different colors that we can select inside the game but not only that this skin actually comes up with a bag bling, which is pretty cool. And we'll definitely go in with a lot of different skins. Now, there's also like three different colors that we can select after completing weekly challenges. So, if you want to unlock them, complete the weekly challenges. But in this video, I'm going to give you guys the easy tips and tricks on how you guys can level up fast and unlock the stage 8 skin for yourself. Because for unlocking the skin, you actually got to go ahead and play the game a lot. But I've actually found out a super simple way on how you guys can go ahead and unlock the skin in just under a few weeks. So, I hope you guys are excited for this. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is how much XP you guys are actually going to get if you get a win in solo game game mode, duo game mode, squad game mode, or a team rumble game mode. So I'm going to break that down so that you guys can choose the right game mode which is best for you and play on that so that you guys can get the most amount of XP to unlock the skin. So in solos, if you get a win, you can get up to like 1500 XP if you win a game. And if you have your battle pass fully upgraded, that is 120% XP boost. So if you are playing solos and if you are getting a win, you guys can actually get up to 1500 XP. And that is only if you get 2 or 3 kills inside the game. But that is not the fastest way to actually unlock the skin. Now going over to the duo escape mode. If you're playing with a friend who doesn't have a battle pass. You guys can actually earn up to 1500 XP again. But if your friend has a battle pass. Then you guys can actually earn up to 1800 XP after winning a game. Now moving on to the squads game. If you guys play a squad game and if you guys win a game, then you guys can actually earn up to 2000 XP if your entire squad has a battle pass. So having a battle pass in your lobby is super must and is super important and I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this video has a free battle pass after completing all the overtime challenges. So go ahead and add a lot of friends and play with them because playing with the squad is going to be the fastest way on how you guys can actually unlock the skin. And to be honest, last season I actually unlocked the link super fast in like 3 or 4 weeks weeks and people were like okay how do you unlock it the only thing that i did was play squads with my friends and that was it and you know what's the best part of it you and your friends they can both unlock the skin at the same time if you guys keep on playing the same game mode again and again because you are actually gonna go ahead and get the friend xp boost that is gonna be my second point on this video so i'll put up two stats right now of a team rumble game mode and if i get a win and if i don't get a win so if you guys look at the stats right now survival time garden elimination 
eliminations, battle pass bonus, and friend bonus. Since I was playing with a friend, that's why I got 33 more XP. And for myself, I had the 120% XP boost, that's why I got 402 XP for that. So if you guys look at the stats right now, it's gonna say I got a total XP of 769, which is still decent, okay? And I lost this game, just keep that in mind, okay? This was a Team Rumble game mode, and I lost this game. Now, let me pull out the stats if I won the game, okay? It gave me 971 XP, which is basically 200 more from getting a loss. So if you guys want to go ahead and play a lot of Team Rumble, that's all good. And also, getting an elimination, it only gives you a little bit of XP, like 20 XP or like 5 XP per kill. So don't focus that much on kill, just try to get the victory out. But if you're playing Team Rumble, then hey, getting your team to win is super important. Then that's why you should get a ton of elimination so that you guys can secure that 200 more XP. And again, if you're playing with a friend, I'm, I wasn't playing with a friend in this game. That's why I didn't get the Battle Pass bonus. So if I was playing with a friend in this Team Rumble game mode, then I would have gotten over 1000 XP, which is super nice. Now coming into the second point, the reason why I'm telling you guys to play with your friends is because if they have a Battle Pass, they're going to get friend XP boost. And if you guys don't know... If you're playing with a friend who has the battle pass, he's gonna give you some portion of XP boost. So for me, I've actually unlocked all the things that is there in the battle pass. So if I'm playing with a friend, he's gonna get 40% XP boost. And if a friend he, who is playing with me and if he has the fully upgraded battle pass, he's gonna give me 40% more XP if I'm getting a win. Now the next thing that I wanna talk about is gonna be the third point, which is super important, okay? And that is gonna be going for the placement. Now this is super important and this is the only thing that you gotta focus on the most, okay? Now, if you didn't know, if you get a win, you're gonna get a ton of XP, and if you don't get a win, you're gonna get less XP. You have to focus on placements. It's okay if you don't get kills, it's okay. If your teammates are kinda bad, it's okay even if you don't get a win. Unless you place in top 5 each and every single game. And that is super important. His last season, how I unlocked the links was super simple and super easy. I only placed top 5 for a lot of games. I didn't get a win that much, but hey, I actually unlocked the skin way before anyone else and to be honest in week 9 or week 10 everyone is gonna have this skin so that's just gonna be the new default skin so if you want to unlock the skin really fast you gotta focus on placement because that is the main key for you to unlock the skin which is super nice now going into the fourth point which is gonna be completing some daily challenges and the reason why i'm saying you know getting 1000 xp is a lot is because of this so if i go inside the challenges tab right now and if we go ahead and click on daily challenges it's gonna say that once you complete one of those challenges you are gonna get finer xp or five battle stars which is gonna help you upgrade your battle pass tiers and if you complete the next one it's gonna give you finer xp again and for the next one as well it's gonna give you finer xp so yeah getting 1000 xp is a lot i mean that's basically like completing two daily challenges in just one single game and guys imagine if i was playing team rumble with a full squad with a full battle pass lobby then i would have gotten at least 1500 XP so that's gonna be super important for you to unlock these skins now if we do some quick maths we only have to play 280 team rumble game modes and win them now for the first time you might be like okay that is a high number like 20 wins in a team rumble game mode are you kidding me but if you do the maths again it's not that tough all you guys gotta do is win 10 team rumble game modes in one day if you do the quick maths again then by the end of one month you will be unlocking this black heart skin so imagine if you're getting 20 wins in team rumble each and every single day then you guys can actually unlock the skin in just a couple of weeks in probably like 14 days or maybe like 18 days so that's gonna be super quick and super simple for you guys to actually unlock the skin and the more you play team rumble the more xp you're gonna get but it doesn't always mean that you guys gotta go ahead and play team rumble i suggest you guys to play team rumble with your friends who has a battle pass because then you guys can get up to 1500 xp by winning one single game because then you don't have to focus that much on winning because if you're playing solos duos or squads you guys can definitely do that i'd suggest you guys to do that because that is just going to improve your game which is going to help you win a lot of games in team rumble and if you guys are a really good team then go ahead and play a lot of squads because if you're playing squads you guys can earn up to 2000 xp if your full lobby has a battle pass of 120 xp boost so that's going to be super helpful if you're playing squads i mean you guys can definitely go ahead and play solos but since you're getting the battle pass xp bonus from your friend that's going to help you a lot on completing these challenges and getting these skins fully upgraded i'll try to put down more stats and statistics on my next video which is going to be about the hybrid skin which is going to drop on tomorrow so if you haven't you know subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because if you guys like these tips and tricks i'll definitely love to upload them more so yeah if you guys use all the tips that i've said in this video like playing team rumble completing daily challenges and completing the weekly challenges so if you guys combine all of these three things together and combine all the xp you guys can actually unlock the skin super fast so yeah if you found this video helpful on how to rank up fast on season 8 
do leave a like. And yeah, my name is Garu, and I will be catching you guys on my next videos. Till then, goodbye, and have a great day ahead.